Welcome to the Taubman Museum of Art in Roanoke, Virginia. My name is Bill White and I'm the guest curator for the Jean Elion exhibition, Journey in Life and Art, uh, which will run uh, from February until May of this year, 2013. Uh, Jean Elion is a very important 20th century French painter with an American connection. He is uh, particularly well known for his uh, geometric abstractions during the 1930s alongside of such important painters as Mondrian, Jean Arp, uh, Leger. And uh, what I think makes his uh, journey particularly interesting is that uh, with all of that significant work that he produced and the uh, attention he got critically, uh, after the war, after having been imprisoned uh, in the German camps for two years, he came back to Paris and became a figurative artist in order to express the connections to his life that he felt had been somewhat absent uh, in the abstractions. The exhibition that you are to see is including the early works through the late works uh, in uh, mostly oil, and uh, a good friend of mine, Ulysse Deport from Stanton, Virginia, is about to give you some insights from his lifelong uh, knowledge and personal connection with Jean Elion. And I hope you will enjoy the exhibition and the remarks that uh, Ulysse brings to uh, uh, the work of uh, Elion. When was the first time you met Elion? In person, it was when he came to Baltimore for the exhibition that I had uh, managed for him. And that was in uh, February of 1945. I was the president, I think of that at 24, I was the president of the Baltimore Artists' Union. Oh. And uh, one of the members at a certain meeting uh, said, wouldn't it be a good idea if we sponsored a show of some a body that was very prominent on uh, Fifth, 57th Street in New York? Uh -huh. And so they uh, they said yes. That for the next meeting, if everybody come in with a suggestion about who who you'd like to, to pursue, mm -hmm. and at the next meeting nobody had thought about. And I thought about Elion I, I, because I, I had, had admired his that one painting that I had seen, mm -hmm. and uh, and I knew that he was he was back in the country, and that he had had was having a show at uh, at Paul. Uh, Rosenfeld. Yeah, the, the great dealer. He was he was a, a Picasso's dealer. Right, yeah, Rosenfeld. Paul yeah. Rosenberg. Yeah, and. Uh, so they told me to, to go ahead, and I think maybe I told them that I knew his wife. Uh, and I wrote uh, uh, Rosenberg, and, and Elion answered me. And uh, told me that uh, he was very interested in the idea. Excellent. And uh, we went from there. And what was your uh, earliest experience in seeing Elion's work that gave oh, you familiarity well, that, that, that with his work. Walter Chrysler had been the college roommate of Thomas C. Colt. Colt was the descendant of the, the Colt arms work. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Colt was uh, the director of the Virginia Museum. And he was able to uh, persuade uh, the Walter Chrysler to lend uh, the, uh, the Virginia Museum his collection of, of contemporary painting, modern paintings. And uh, in that, that, that was one ilio, that was a big one, and uh, that was really all. It, it absolutely knocked me cold. I was forced to, uh, I guess, to be a Frenchman because of my name, you know. made me named Ulysse Gauvier de Porte. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And uh, actually, I, I admired the Germans. I admired the German uniforms in the First World War, and all, above all, the airplanes, those beautiful red planes with the black, black crosses. I just loved them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't much like being French. Uh, and uh, I didn't like French uniforms, mm -hmm. like that. But then we had a priest, this young guy who had been, I think, a French teacher. And he was what I'd call a Franco-maniac. And he said, 
that anybody with my name had to speak French, so he always speak French to me. And, uh, uh, Elion lived in Rockbridge Baths with his wife and his son uh, during the 1930s. Uh, did you know his work uh, and visit him at all during that time period? Oh, no. 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 Uh, you know that he, he had to, uh, he was mobilized when the war, when the war was declared in uh, 39. And he, he, uh, he was called up and he immediately went, went back to France and uh, was in the army and was captured with the, the whole French army. And he was sent to the uh, to a, a, a prison ship in the harbor of Stettin, which was part of Poland at, at that time. But uh, he quickly, a genius for learning the language, he, he, he quickly became the interpreter of the thing. And then after he'd been there a, a, a year and a half, he felt confident enough to just walk off and get on a train and go to France. It passed through France and he snuck through France and got to, uh, he got to Spain, he got to, uh, uh, and then he was able to call, call uh, Richmond and they'd send him the money to, to, to come over and this was in 1942, yeah, he, he was back, he was back in the States in, in 42. Mm -hmm. And I understand he wrote his uh, remembrance of being a prisoner of war, yeah, I, uh, I, they shall not have me. And uh, uh, th that was a, it was a bestseller. John John Valator had that uh, had that painting, and then of course the fact that I showed up at Holland's with uh, with about three <laughs> alien paintings uh, that uh, I guess that did make an impression that I was not conscious of at the time. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know about the exhibition. I just knew that he had bought that painting. But that was I that, see. That, that was the circumstances, and that was a good painting. Yes, yes. What I think is um, an unusual part of the uh, history for Elion is to have been a major figure in sort of non-objective abstraction, and then seemingly to convert uh, to being a figurative artist after the war. Uh, do, you, do you remember what Elion may have said to you about his reasons for making that shift? Uh, not only did it, uh, he talk about it, but I think he even wrote about it. That uh, uh, his, the work that he was doing had no reference to his life. And uh, that uh, he missed that. Uh, I have other thoughts about it that maybe uh, if you look at the things that he saw, uh, no development of, of in the manner that, that he, he, the direction that he, he was traveling at that time, mm -hmm. that he, you know, that thought that this, this would just be repetition and something, you, you got to do something. And Picasso certainly, and Picasso was like a comedian, he keep changing. And, uh, and, and he was, he dominated the world in, as far as attracting attention to his painting mm -hmm. because of, of, I think of, of that, that fact. Mm -hmm. The other people that stepped, stepped close and, and really developed, uh, had beautiful rich styles and could maintain them till they died and they were still interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I think that Elion uh, realized that, uh, that, that as he said, that what he was doing had, had no reference to his life, mm -hmm. and, and he wanted to do that. So. It, it seems to me that uh, Elion's abstraction uh, work from the 30s has a more complex uh, spatial illusion than most of his other friends, like Mondrian. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you see that in yes, his work yes. as well? Yes, I think that's really, you know, that, that there's a strong classicism and intellectual compositions are, are, are real, real things in, in, uh, in, in painting, in drawing, in, 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 in composing pictures. And uh, there is the, the, the interestingly composed space that, that you see from 
well, at least from the the early runs, as I said, from from I uh, oh, can't think of names of anybody <laughs> anymore, but the, uh, it's a fresco in in Florence that is beautifully composed. Say the the, the what goes on. The, the it's a tribute money painting of Masaccio, uh, Tommaso, and uh, you know the the. the the fish and coin over here, and the, the, the beautiful conversation, plastic, I guess you'd say, but, but to me it's compositional uh, uh, movements through, through it. I just love it. Mm -hmm. I remember that big, big painting because uh, that little painting of Peguin was in that, I remember that, that's where I bought it, was in that, that room, and it, 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 it's not in the painting, that big painting of that. Uh, it's uh, uh, another painting the same size that is in that uh, mm -hmm. that room. Uh, I have from our show in uh, in, in in Baltimore uh, the, some newspaper uh, uh, accounts, but it was always because his his work was not understandable. You know, <laughs> they they just thought he was getting away with with pulling their leg. <laughs> you least. Uh, what would you want a viewing public in now 2012 to know about Alien that might not be sort of very familiar to them? Is there anything in particular that you would want to emphasize to people who come and see the show? Oh, yes. Uh, see, there, there was nobody that was doing what he was doing uh, back in the, uh, in the late 30s, you know, from, let's say, 35 on uh, that, uh, that it, it was unique and uh, it uh, it was very well received by people like Gallatin and uh, and Christ I guess uh, but certainly the, the Museum of Modern Art mm -hmm. uh, even as you know the uh, the Whitney uh, bought that uh, bought a painting from him because he he wasn't in America and uh, had, had an American wife uh, I guess lastly, I want to focus a little bit on the uh, sort of urban scenes that Elion uh, really worked so hard on in his later years, the 70s and the 80s. Was there anything about those uh, interests in painting from life or about the life of the city that Elion uh, communicated to you about those uh, later works? No. Uh, he did. He painted. Uh, he painted portraits. You know, there was. A, in fact, it's somewhere in my archives. I have a, a magazine article. I think appeared in in uh, in, in America. Yeah. It, and they were they were good. You know, they a good likeness and and uh, and really a, a br brilliantly done. They were they were interesting. It, uh, it was reproduced in color. In, in in an American magazine, and it said, I think it was, that uh, Elion paints a portrait. 